Hey guys, so I made a quick little sketch. You can see this is uh, looking at your rig from the back. So this is if you were to go into a, a right turn and your chassis would roll um, as, as shown here in, in, the, in the sketch. And this is to show that uh, this top, this higher bucket seat is probably what, um, <clears throat> how they're typically mounted, I would say. Uh, they are typically sitting on side brackets that mount onto the top of your um, main frame rail. And this other bucket see here is what, I guess, what it will look like if it's um, dropped or lowered using some sort of a dropped bracket design. Uh, you can probably get it pretty low. I mean, this is probably a little exaggerated, but the reason why it does make a difference is because of where the center of your hip is in relation to the pivot point right here when you go into a roll. And of course, this also um, applies to pitch, right? When you're braking or accelerating, but more so in a roll. Uh, and you can already see that the center of your hip um, in, in relation to the, uh, the pivot is quite a bit different. And you can see that this is a bit of a geometry problem. So. Let's uh, take this and transfer it into uh, a, 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 like a vector um, <clears throat> sketch. So here we can see that this is your main frame rail. On the left side, this is where uh, your motion system is mounted and this is your other motion system, left and right. And this here signifies the difference. Um, this is where your bucket seat, the center of your bucket seat or your center of your hip it, uh, is for a typical bucket seat setup. And this is um, a lowered setup, right? And here you can already see that, um, <clears throat> and I just kind of assume that, you know, you're able to drop it six inches, right? And since we're sitting in the center of the rig, um, so in, in case of a DK2, when I go full roll, uh, full extension of two inches, you can see that the difference at the center is exactly half that, right? Because you're sitting in the center, right? So it's one inches. So it goes from zero to one inches. That's what your the center of your hip experience is. And similarly, but you can see here that uh, this distance from here to the bottom went from six to, you would expect seven inches, one inch, right? Uh, but no, it actually goes to 6.99. Now, it's a small difference. Uh, I don't even know if you can feel that. But if you increase the stroke now to a 6-inch system, and suddenly you can see that uh, in a lowered position, you know, if you were to, if, if you're able to mount your bucket seat on this ideal uh, lowest position, uh, it would when the system goes up six inches, you would feel exactly half that, which is three. And in a raised bucket seat position, instead of going from six to nine, it went from six to 8.88. .8. So all of a sudden now you are uh, losing a, a, a noticeable amount, right? Now this is further exemplified if you have a, uh, a shorter width chassis, right? You can imagine, and also if you're able to able to drop it for more than six inches, let's say you can drop it by one foot. Let's say um, previously your bucket seat's sitting unnecessarily high, and you're able to drop it quite a lot, and you can see that all of a sudden um, it went from twelve. It's supposed to go to from twelve to fifteen, but now you're losing a quarter quarter of an inch travel, and this is just from your seating position, right? So, um, I mean, if you look at the numbers alone, it doesn't sound like it's that big of a difference. It's only a quarter of an inch for a six inch system. And that's a significant drop. It's probably, that's probably not even possible in most cases. But, um, you know, I mean, we're just nerding out here, right? So, uh, you know, in my opinion, if this is something that you can do without a lot of effort or spending a lot of money, I think it's worth doing just because you obviously want to maximize uh, the value that you get, um, that you invested into your motion system, right? So um, I think it's a good approach, I approve.